Hello friend, today we are adding a new feature in selectors of autofix. This will help you guys a lot while fixing the xpath and css selector errors in any any selectors which you verify or write in selectors of. So let's see how this is going to help you and how this is going to fix your xpath and selectors error just in one click. So what you have to do simply like uh, it's very simple. You just open selectors up as usual nothing else you have to do and uh, okay so first we will show you guys in selectors up pro because this feature is right now live in selectors up pro and very soon uh, within a week maybe uh, it will be available in selectors up as well free version as well so let's see how this is going to help you so uh, suppose you have some script written and uh, while copying or verifying your x path you make some errors like let's say we copy this x path here and paste it here in selector sub and now this is there's an issue in this x path there's an error like close the square bracket is missing or some uh, anything is missing or anything is wrong there spelling is wrong or something so what you have to do there is a button now fix selector if you see this just click on this and you see that it is fixing and it will fix that x path or css selector whatever it will it will be now okay this is good and it will also show you immediately that how many occurrences are there so uh, one thing is this that uh, if you like inspect any element or you are writing x path or selectors and if you make any mistake there it will fix that by clicking on it like when you will click on this fix selector button it will fix that second thing what if like it is not able to fix then it will show you an option that try again and when you try again if even if it will not be able to fix in second attempt then it will say couldn't fix because there could be some cases where it is it might not be able to fix that issue so but that will be like very rare cases but still i want to mention that yes it is not that like it is not 100 percent perfect yet that it will be able to fix like each and everything but at least 95 percent of the time it will be able to fix your x path and css selectors error we have implemented the uh, actually we have Im implemented the open uh, ai uh, power here in selectors hub which is able to like uh, fix all these and a lot of things has been done in behind the scene to uh, integrate this feature to uh, make this available here so yeah let's see more uh, scenarios here suppose uh, there's a, some CSS selector which you are writing here and you make any kind of mistake in that like this then it, if you just click on this it will fix that in, and in fact like in some cases it will improve your uh, CSS selector or X path whatever it will be so like you see that this is a scenario where it is not able to fix in first attempt you click on that and then it will try again if it will not be able to fix then it will tell you but if it will be able to fix then it will also uh, show you the like number of elements matching or whatever that will be so it is showing that and it was able to fix it in the second attempt so uh, let's say uh, let's let us see some uh, some of the uh, spelling mistakes if we do like let's say you are writing this and which is uh, like very very common mistake in case of normalized space so many a times we write it like s e and hit enter that's where it is wrong now if you click on this it will try to fix that issue and it has fixed that now you see that it is ready and it it has made it correct sometimes it happened that uh, you might be writing like let's say we inspect this element and you are trying to write the x path for this okay and you miss some parenthesis because uh, like many a times we have a habit of like text using text function or some other function so you might not be aware about we forget sometimes syntax so in that case if you make any mistake like let's say this is written there and you for, forgot to close the square bracket uh, close the parenthesis then in, in that case there is an error so you can fix that okay so likewise whatever x path or css selector you have in your uh, code or wherever you are writing if you make any mistake it will be able to fix the, those issues now let's see some of the complex scenarios which you actually work in real time let's say we let us generate some of the access based x path parent child so let's say we want x path for uh, enter email with respect to user email so here we generated this x path 
now let us edit this one so hit enter now this is showing one element matching sometimes and in fact a lot many times it happened that we miss this double colon type double colon there could be some typo error there might be uh, in place of z you might write s and you are trying to verify this if you will verify of course it will, if you will verify in dev tools you will never able to like learn what is wrong there how to fix that but here in selector sub now you are getting to know that okay there is in this is invalid something colon is missing then now you have this fix selector button click on this and it will try to fix that complete x path so you see that it has corrected this error also fix, fix this issue as well so now this is showing one element matching perfect there could be some scenarios where it might not be able to uh, fix but yeah we will keep improving that this and it will uh, open AI will also keep learning from uh, the pattern and from the errors whatever you will fix so automatically over the time it is going to evolve a lot and it will be able to fix each and every uh, kind of x path and selectors error so hope uh, this feature will help you guys a lot if you make any mistake now it will be able to help you to uh, fix those issues and uh, you will keep improving and keep learning more and more about x path and selectors with the help of selectors hub i hope this feature will help you uh, help a lot of time for you guys if you have any feedback and uh, suggestion please let us know in into the comment section and we will definitely improve that and also let us know about uh, how you like this feature and whether this is going to how much this is going to help you guys and uh, yeah so also let me tell you that this is right now available in selectors a pro version very soon within a week or 10 days it will be we will start rolling out this feature in the free version as well for all the users of selectors Hub. so don't worry about that and uh, the request to all of you that please do add uh, feedback and review about the selectors Hub plugin if you haven't added your your uh, review here under selectors Hub and uh, this feature will be available with uh, from 4.7.1 on free version and uh, in the pro version it is right away available okay so yeah with that thank you thank you so much for watching